Greetings and welcome to Doc's Daily Derbies. I am Doc or Scott, I go by either one, and we are so happy that you've joined us here at Doc's Daily Derbies. You know, we're just a group of friends who love real VR fishing and wanted a little bit of extra competition. And we started off small and we have blown up into a really, really nice, large community of friendly players. You know, we don't have, you know, many arguments going on here. We do have a zero tolerance policy for, you know, negative behavior. And, you know, thankfully we've not had to deal with that. I believe in providing safe gaming opportunities for people who want to be in online groups. So the rest of this video will be dedicated to showing you around the website and some in-game stuff on how to participate in our events. We run three main events all the time. And those are our shark of the day, fish of the day, and number one fish size that runs all the time it's, it does not have a time period i'm going to show you in game how to take pictures and submit to those contests and give you a tour around the website again i am so happy that you are here thank you for joining and another big welcome best of luck and happy hunting Hi there, this video is going to show you how to properly document a catch you make for the Docs Daily Derbies contest. Um, we use a website called time.is to verify the date and time of your catch. I'll show you two ways you can bring this up in your game to capture your fish. One is via the in-game web browser over here. Go into your menu, it's just, if you're not familiar, it's this little globe. I've already got mine set to this. So you're going to need to capture this with your catch screen but there are certain things you have to make sure are visible there if you're not sure how to use this once inside this menu you're gonna hit the globe again you hit the plus sign type in the url that you would want i've already got time.is here and once you do that it'll appear in in your list of possible options for the web browser within the game so the problem with time.is on the in-game browser, if you have caught your fish to submit, but you've not already brought it up, you can't bring it up. So I don't prefer this. Um, I will show you how I prefer to document my catches because even if you've caught the fish and you don't have it up, you can still document it. So here is what I will do. So I'll give you an example of if I try to do it with, with the in-game browser after a catch. Go get a fish in. All right, so we've got our fish and, you know, I'm gonna try to bring up the menu for time.is to get to the, so there's nothing I can do to get to that menu, to hit that globe, to get to time.is. I use the um, built-in MetaQuest 3 browser. So you press your menu button. Here's your web browser down here. I've already got time.is. You would just click in here and just type in the web address time.is. And then you can, the pieces that you need and you can grab this and you can move this this all around so you need to have the name of the fish the size of the fish and the number of fish that you have in total so we're going to position this down a little bit and if you need to you can you know just scoot back away from your screen but you've got to have all this and i have voice commands enabled if you don't have the ai voice commands enabled um you will have to go into your camera so camera take photo you can do it like that make sure you come back and look at your picture and then you will click on this it says photo saved look at your picture make sure you have everything name size time you also do need these four pieces down here the los angeles london paris beijing and tokyo time so you do need those as well in the picture minimize some of these and if you do have voice commands um, available 
get back to the time.is. So if you do have an ad that covers these up, you can just click on the X out of the ads. This um, this used to be ad free. I am looking for a better way to do this. So voice commands, double click your um, Oculus button. There's our photo, we can go in and view it. Now, once you have this, so this technically wouldn't, this one wouldn't count because it clipped off the Los Angeles. That's why it's important to make sure that um, you view this before you submit. So for time's sake, I'm not gonna take a new photo up. I'm gonna show you how to, how I access my photos. Um, you're gonna hit this share button. And I share it to my Facebook feed. I leave it as only me. Select post. And then I go get the picture off of my Facebook feed. There are ways to do it via the MetaQuest app on your phone. This is just how I prefer to do it. I know some people do it via the phone. You know, as you, as you learn your way around, just find out what is most comfortable for you. All right, so next we will have how to post this to our daily contests. All right, so you've caught your fish and you are ready to post it to one of the contests. But before that, I want to give you a brief idea of what the three main contests we run are. And those are the shark of the day, fish of the day, and our number one contest. You can usually find these, the first three posts in the featured, unless there's been an announcement in between. So I made an announcement here, so get over here. So here is Shark of the Day. So Shark of the Day is a daily contest that runs from noon to noon. And this contest is pretty straight and simple. You're fishing for the biggest shark species of any of these. And if you catch one that is larger than the current one posted, then you would post your catch. If you make a catch and you come here and the current one posted is larger than yours, there's no need to post. So if you wanted to, if you caught a Mako that was 158 something, you would come here and post that and then Rick would update that eventually and you would see your name here. Start the day, we have a minimum size to post. So if you caught a great white, you see there's no player associated. Your great white would have to be larger than 229 inches to post that. Fish of the Day and Shark of the Day have kind of a monthly contest um, where you win a $30 Meta gift card. So for Shark of the Day, I pick a shark species at the beginning of the month. I don't tell anybody what it is. That way people can't target that shark and just fish that shark, you know, all month long. And at the end of the month, let's say I pick the, the tiger shark. Whoever caught the biggest tiger shark for that month will get a $30 Meta gift card to the Meta store. It is good for apps and games only, no hardware. So you can see kind of how people post um, post their posts. You don't post their catches. You don't have to put hashtag shark of the day. Um, some people still do. Really, you're just going to post your picture. So here, here's what a picture would look like. So this picture has all the, the pertinent stuff, fish name, fish size, number of fish in total, and all the necessary information on the time.is. And you simply, you can just type the name of the fish and the size. So some people have um, made teams. So here is a, a team by team shark bait. You know, I, I like the team aspect. Some people do, some people don't. If, um, if I were able to play, I would probably create a team or join a team. I like, I like the team aspect and hopefully, um, going to come up with um, team specific events. I think that would be great to be able to match up some teams head to head. So fish of the day is very similar to shark of the day. So fish of the day has a little twist. So today's fish of the day is the Tahoe sucker and black drum. The fish change each day. So same thing. You look here, you would come to the fish of the day and the current size on the Tahoe sucker, which is the freshwater fish and the black drum, which is a saltwater fish. There's a freshwater and saltwater each day. You would have to have a one that's larger than Paul's, the 14.629. If you catch one larger, you get to post, and it's the same format as um, Shark of the Day, name of the fish, fish size. If you are part of a team, you can put your team name. And you will see here 
on Craig's post, under it he has semicircle angelfish. Whoever wins the fish of the day for freshwater and saltwater, if you're the freshwater winner, you get to post, you get to pick the fish for the next day. So if Craig were to win, tomorrow's fish of the day would be the semicircle angelfish. Down here on the Tahoe Sucker, if Greg were to win, the next saltwater fish would, the, would be the belly barred pipefish. Again, same posting format. All the correct stuff here, everything in here, so that is a good post. And for this one, since I don't know what the species picked are going to be, I pick a random day out of the month. So let's say I picked, you know, October 17th and saltwater. Whoever wins the saltwater fish on October 17th would get the um, $30 MetaQuest gift card to the Meta Store. And lastly, our newest contest is the number one contest here. And I think, let me refresh it here. So the number one contest is what it sounds like. You're trying to catch the biggest of any fish species at any time. So this runs all the time. It doesn't have a start time, a finish time. So you are fishing for the biggest Docks Daily Derby catch ever, and you do get an award certificate if you catch the biggest real VR fishing overall fish. So you have access to this huge spreadsheet. It might look daunting at first. Um, it's got a lot of information, but it simply is a list of all the fish in alphabetical order, um, you know, with some information about it, whether it's ep epic, rare, unique, freshwater, saltwater, It'll give you the current DDD max size, so you would have to catch on the African Pompano. You'd have to catch one larger than this to post. And here is the current real VR fishing max size. So this column here is how you can figure out which fish you know have you know a, you know a higher chance of you catching one to um, surpass. That's the difference between these two. So the bigger this number is, I say the more chance you have of catching one to, to beat the current one. And over here, we do list what maps you can find these fish on. So you don't have to like, like I don't remember which maps the African Pompano are on. So got a lot of, got a lot of good information here. Like I said, um, the prize for this, so here we go, the, the bull trout has over a half an inch difference. The bull trout, if you want to try to get on this board, would be, I would say, a, a good one to go to. The ones in pink here that are zero, those are likely that the Docks Daily Derby size and the real VR fishing size are the same, which probably means that's the max size available in the game. All right, like I said, the, the person um, who catches one that would overtake the VR fishing size will get a digital certificate um, from us. And so let's go to back to, so we've got our fish that we wanted to post. So here's how I do it. Like I said, I uploaded it to Facebook and I picked only me. That's why it shows the lock here. So I go in, you probably don't even have to go in, but you know, I right click copy. So this, let's say it was the red tail surf perch was a fish of the day. I'm going to go to the fish of the day contest and I'll delete this after. So I'm going to first paste the picture in. And then what? here's how I post. So let's say this was the red tail surf perch. I copy this, paste it, and then let's say it was the red tail surf perch. Actually, we'll just leave it Tahoe sucker. Let's pretend it was a Tahoe sucker. So copy this, and then all I do is change the the size, so 12.381, where am I, too many tabs, too many tabs, 12.381, and then I would plop my name in here, and then I would hit submit, but I'm not going to submit this because I don't want to undo the fish that was here. So we'd hit submit. That way, when we're updating these up here, the person who's doing the updating can just copy and paste that. Actually, I can submit that because it was a whole new post. So here we go. I would do that. And then there would be my submission, but it doesn't count because it wasn't a Tahoe sucker. So go ahead and get rid of that. And again, like I said, you don't have to do it my way. I know people do it, you know, via the app and everything. 
that's just how I prefer to do it. It's you know quick and easiest for me. Whatever you can do to get your picture uploaded to the appropriate contest with the with all the necessary parts um, will be accepted. We do some leaderboard style fishing events where we will ask you to take a picture of the leaderboard and your points. And with that, the formatting is you have to have your points shown and you have to have the time dot is shown and all 10 players who are on that leaderboard for that, um, that fish or the leaderboard points time. So, all right, I think that is um, all the information you are going to need to get up and going. And again, welcome. We are very glad to have you here. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to um, me about general, any general information. Rick Thomas is also um, a great person for general information. He might actually be a better person than me. Um, Rick really is kind of the, the core of running all these events now. Um, I'm in the background more than, than anything. But feel free to reach out to me um, or Rick. We're the main main two go-tos. If you have um, fish of the day questions, you can direct those to Lindsay. If you have number one um, number one fish questions, you can direct those towards Stephen. And you know any of us will answer any questions. Um, again, I do want to um, reiterate about the the you know just no tolerance for negative behavior. If you have an issue with a player um, that you need to report or you feel needs addressed, do not address the player within our group. Um, we will consider that as a negative behavior. We don't like, you know, arguing back and forth. If you bring the, if you send the what's going on to me or Rick, we will investigate and we will take care of it. We, um, I would say in our two years plus, um, we've really had to get involved um, maybe only one or two times with some players who were having a disagreement. So it's just a fun place to play the game you love and win some prizes and um, it's a good time. Ooh, I did want to um, lastly, real quick, squeeze this in. If you're not a subscriber to the YouTube page, please subscribe to the YouTube page. And once a month, we will post a link, a player created a GoFundMe up until now, we have been self-sufficient, so it has been Rick and myself paying for all the prizes that have been given. So, you know, we have spent thousands of dollars out of our own pockets. And then a player did make a GoFundMe. Um, it is no pressure. Do not feel pressured to donate to the GoFundMe. But you will see it pop up at the beginning of each month. And if you feel like donating, um, please go ahead. And as always, um, again, welcome and best of luck and happy hunting.